everyone! Hello everyone, it's Millie and welcome to today's video which is life hacks and I think this is part 4 on the kind of series I've had going on on my channel for a while now. I've had done beauty hacks and then just like hacks in general. So this is life hacks in general, all ages and all genders so I hope that you enjoy it. I'm not a huge fan of really long introductions so I'm going to get on with the life hacks and I hope that you enjoy it. Don't forget to leave a comment, thumbs up this video and maybe even subscribe if you like what you see. So I'm going to get on with the video now. Number one is to do with NASA. So basically NASA will pay anyone around $15,000 if they are willing to sit in a bed for eight to seven days and it's all to do with NASA's research in zero gravity and the effects of it. So if you are willing to sit in the bed for eight to seven days and do nothing, maybe like go on your phone, listen to music, whatever you want to do in that time, as long as you stay in bed, go for it, sign up get yourself $15,000. There are a lot of different like prices I've looked up online, like there are so 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 many different sources that say different uh, prices that they pay you, but if you are genuinely interested, you might have to do some deep digging online to see what you can find. To get like the best possible sound on your iTunes, replicate these presets on the equalizer. So they'll appear on this picture here on the screen. Um, if you go on the equalizer on iTunes and you just copy them and replicate them, you will get amazing sound for your music. And to be fair, I listen to music so, so much. So if you listen to it as much as I do, you will be so thankful for this life hack because I was, <laughs> I still am. <laughs> Right, okay. I'm quite an evil person, so I thought this uh, fit in quite well with my personality, but if you are stuck with someone who snores a lot, like maybe your roommate, and you like can't get to sleep because they're snoring so, so loud, get a few drops of vinegar and like put it on their bottom lip and a bit on their tongue. And because vinegar is like quite strong, it will force them to close their mouth to get rid of the taste, to like wash it down with the saliva. So when they close their mouth, they'll have to breathe through the nose and you can't really snore that way. So I hope this one helps you. And if you're an evil person and enjoy pranking people, then it'll fit in really well. Really well. Now, summer. Okay, can I just say something really quickly? I really, really want to make the most of summer. Like, it is so bad because I look back on last summer and I can't remember anything that I did apart from go on holiday just my memory's like blank from last summer and that is so depressing because it was like well I obviously didn't do anything that great so I've been trying to get out more this summer but I realised that I can't do much I can't drive I'm really trying to find ways to live life to the fullest right now but when you can't drive it's so difficult so sorry about that rant next life hack is a summer idea I don't know why I never thought of this earlier, oh that like, I did get it off online but I don't know why I, why I didn't think of this, um, you can actually get like water guns, like get cheap ones from Poundland or Dollar Tree, fill it with paints, like different coloured paints and have like 10 water guns and then um, you can kind of do a Hunger Games, like put them in a pile in the middle of your garden or middle of like this huge field that you're on, everyone runs, picks up a water gun and then just shoot each other with it and have like a paintball fight without the pain and the bruises and the cuts and the swelling. Oh, and when you do it, you have to wear white clothing as well so you can see all the effects. So if you have a friend whose dog might have died, or maybe a family member who, whose dog might have died, or if your dog's still alive and well, visit shelterpups.com. Send in a picture of your dog, or your friend's dog, or your mum's dog, or your auntie's dog, or your grandma's dog, and they will make a stuffed animal version of it and send it to you. And I just thought that was such a nice, like, kind of memory or, like, keepsake of your pet. It's a really good idea, like if I was to start a business, it'd be something to do with making stuffed animals from pets. Not taxidermy though. Okay, so say for example your child is having like a fairy tale birthday party or you just genuinely want, you know, like a really nice uh, wonderland kind of garden and you have a pathway. Um, if that pathway has rocks, paint all the rocks with a paint called Rust-Oleum Glow. And this paint basically uh, is charged by the sunlight and then at night it glows. So you get a kind of fantasy glow in the dark pathway leading up to your house and it looks really magical. Okay, so just for the record, I've tried this one before and it works like a lot. So basically, <coughs> Um, when ordering an ice cream, instead of saying to the person, can I have two scoops of this ice cream please, ask for one scoop and when they're just about to hand it to you, go, 
oh no, sorry, am I right to have two scoops? Is that okay? And then they'll get another one and your ice cream will be so much more bigger because when you ask for two scoops, they'll give you like two quite small scoops just so they don't really lose out on ice cream. But if you go, oh no, can I have a, uh, two scoops, sorry, they'll be forced to have had already put one big scoop on and then just put another scoop on top of that so it ends up being like a huge ice cream. Great. If you want to prank your friends, this is such a good idea, I've not tried it myself, so I don't know if it works, but I don't see why it wouldn't work. Um, freeze Mentos inside ice cubes, and if the ice cubes, ice cubes, if the ice cubes are freeze like properly for quite a while, they will turn like a kind of translucent or like opaque white so that you can't see inside them. <laughs> Anyway, once the water has frozen with the Mentos inside it, or the mints inside it, you can then uh, put them in a glass of Coke, serve it to your friend and it will be a time bomb, like, explosion. So basically when the ice melts, the Mentos will be in the Coke and you know the whole reaction that you probably did in like primary school or elementary school. It basically explodes everywhere, so if you want to prank your friends, then do it, but make sure you're outside and not like in your room because then the kind of joke's on you if it gets all over your bed. So do it outside. So, you know, on your um, oh, vacuum cleaner, you have the kind of nozzle that's quite a thin tube uh, that you kind of use to get into like all the nooks and crannies of like stairs and stuff like that. Well, if you want to get a more precise suck on the vacuum, um, you can put a squeezy ketchup bottle top over the nozzle on like a shop vac, it works best, but I think you can get those in America. If you put a squeezy ketchup bottle top on it, it works to kind of clean up, you know, like your keyboard, like phone microphones or any other like small spaces that you'll need to clean. It just works really well for that. And the last one, it's a bit stupid, but if you do want to like easily win any staring contest, then instead of just like looking at the person and bursting out laughing, oh my god, when I'm in staring competitions, I like, I could, I'll just look at the person and I'll go. I'll start laughing, my chin goes, I don't, I have a really weird chin. So instead of just looking at them and bursting out laughing how you normally do, look at them and then slowly lean in for a kiss. So let's pretend we're in a staring contest right now, okay? Right, we're in a staring contest. And if by then they haven't like back to where I've gone, okay, okay, you win then they probably want to kiss you and things will get really awkward but for the most part they will uh, go like okay fine you win take it because it's going to get really awkward for them and deep down you know that they're going to like back away or whatever okay so that is the end of today's video for the life hacks i really hope you found them helpful and you will use them in your day-to-day -day life if you did enjoy it give it a thumbs up subscribe comment do whatever you want have a beautiful day and don't forget to stay positive bye guys